Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It feels like it's been so long since I have shared a video with you guys, even though I don't think it really has in reality, but I have not had that much time lately to create or to do videos. And so I'm sorry for the delay in posting this video. This is a junk journal with me that I filmed back in September and I haven't really had the time to edit it and voice over the video until now. So this is yet again just another little session playing around in my junk journal. So I'm just starting out by pulling some pieces that I might like to sort of kickstart the page. So I have some wallpaper pockets and some wallpaper scraps here. And these are both items that I bought from Moonside Parlor on Etsy a couple of weeks ago. So I'm just trying to pick something that sort of, yeah, like kickstarts the process and, and can help me to break the page so I just play around with pieces until I find something that I like I also have this granny chic book which I like to use pages from and cut things out of because I really like the images that are in it and I'm flicking through and I end up choosing a page that has some vintage wallpaper and it also has like a little Polaroid image on it and I'm going to attach that into my journal and use it as a page and my plans are to use that Polaroid space sort of like a template and fill it in with my own photo later on so rather than glue that page down I decided to stick it in with some wide washi tape so that you could still see both sides of that page. And then I'm going to stick this wallpaper pocket over on the other side and I'm using some double sided tape to stick that down just because it has a little bit of a glossy finish to it. And as I said I got these from Moonside Parlor and I'll link her shop down below you can have a look. She makes journals but she also has different packs of supplies that she sells and things that she makes. And yeah she has a really cool eclectic style that I really love so I'll link her shop down below in case you want to go and check her out. So this page is nothing really special or exciting or meaningful. I just have some packaging and stuff that I wanted to put in here. I recently got a new pair of shoes. I got some Doc Martens sandals and I never like to splurge on shoes or clothes. So these were kind of pricey for me, but I'm really happy that I got them. They're a nice little pair of shoes to have for summer and wear get a lot of wear and a lot of use out of. So I'm taking some of the tissue paper that came in the shoe box and I'm gluing that down over the page. I also have the little tag, the little info tag, I guess, that I'm gonna include into this page. I also have some other packaging beside me there, which you'll see me put into the page later, but it's from Mayleg, which is a children's brand and they make, um, they make really cute dolls furniture or toy furniture and other soft toys and stuff like that and so this page isn't really anything that's sort of I guess very meaningful or exciting but it's just bits and pieces that I want to put into my journal I'd rather put them into my journal than just throw them out or recycle them Playing around with some of my linen printables and I'm not really sure what I want to do but I ended up choosing one to tuck into the wallpaper pocket and use it as a journaling card so I'll just write directly on top of it and instead of gluing it down the page I just keep it loose in that pocket so you can pull it in and out. I also put the tag from the Doc Martens inside that um, mustard coloured coin envelope just I guess to make it a little bit more interactive and I liked the way that that 
colour of the envelope sort of complemented the wallpaper on the other side. And here is the packaging from the Mayleg furniture, which I was just talking about before. So this is a cute little tin stove that I got for our dollhouse. And so I really like the little boxes that they come in. They have these cute like illustrations of the product itself. And so I just peeled the image off the corrugated cardboard box that it came in. And I'm just going to stick that down into my journal. So I'm sorry I haven't been able to do as many videos as I'd like and I'm so so slow to get journal collections out to you guys. I'm working on one at the moment that I really really wanted to get finished by the end of September but it's just sometimes it's just impossible and my husband does firefighting so when it's the fire season he goes away and the last month or so he's been away for a lot of the time so it's just been me and the kids at home and that kind of makes it really tricky for me to actually get any work done. So that's sort of why I've been a little bit quiet, but there's only about a week left of the school holidays here. So once things start going back into the routine of school and stuff, then it's easier for me to sort of allocate time to spend on making videos and making journals. So. On this page, I just wanted to fill in that blank space with some ledger paper. I had this scrap of ledger paper, so I just tore it down with my ruler and then just gluing it with my glue stick down the bottom of that page. And then one more little piece of the, the Mayleg packaging and I'm just going to staple this along the bottom of the page. I have some of these pressed flowers which I pressed a while ago and I also laminated them a while ago. And so I'm just choosing one of them to layer over the top of this page. So I'm going to use that as like a little fold out that you can peek through and see the photo underneath, which I'm going to put my own photo there after. So I'm using that same wide washi tape to stick that in. And because it's so wide, I just cut it down the middle in half so that it was a little bit slimmer. And I like how that just gives it a bit of a layered look over the top of the page and makes it a little bit more interactive. Now I'm just taking a couple of these label stickers and these were purchased on eBay and I'm just choosing a couple of them to put around the pages. I usually like to use these labels just to sort of annotate either like photos or ephemera just to write what something is or sometimes I'll fill in the date or sometimes I'll just stick them down on the page and I won't put anything on them. Some of these have nice little patterns in them like that daisy looking one and the squirrel so there's not a whole heap of room on them to write but I just like the way they add something to the page. I feel like they kind of make it look a little bit more finished and just decorate it in a really simple way. So now I have a picture of the shoes that I got and this isn't my photo, I just found this on the internet to be honest. Um, I think it was like a Depop photo. I just searched the name of the shoes and I just picked a quick image that popped up, the one that I liked the best. 
So I just printed this photo out with my Canon selfie and I'm just trimming it down so that it fits inside that little Polaroid frame. And it was kind of cool that that original page had a pair of shoes in the photo. And so that kind of gave me the idea to put a picture of the shoes that I got. And because I wanted to print that as a small square, I decided to just use the rest of that um, 6x4 print photo with, I just fit in like a little photo of my basket wall, which I have in my living room. So it's just a really small skinny photo um, because I didn't want to waste the paper by just printing the rest of it white. And I didn't really want to fit that into this journaling session, so I will probably put it into my journal another time. And because that photo is quite thick and a little bit sort of glossy, I just used double sided tape again to stick that in. After that I just added one more little strip of washi tape along the bottom of that photo and then off camera I added some journaling around the page and that was pretty much the whole journaling session so a really simple fun one just playing around with different bits and pieces. That is the finished page. I hope you guys enjoyed this process video and I hope you're all doing really well. I also really hope that my next video isn't going to be too far away. I really really want to film some more junk journal with me videos and have a couple of other ideas. It's just a matter of finding the time to get to them and hopefully fingers crossed very soon I'm going to have a journal release and yeah I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!